recovering from a stack deep pat flap is something that you should really consider. It's a lot of different areas of surgery. The, uh, the, uh, the chest, the abdomen, and the thighs are all operated on and all of those areas will have pain. Fortunately, the recovery is very intense, but the duration is not quite as long as one would expect. Typically, the bad pain it only lasts for a few days, and fortunately, some of the new advances in medication, including long-acting local anesthetics, make those first few days much better. I, I agree. There are a number of advances. Um, the, the local blocks, local anesthetic blocks, uh, the multimodal pain medicine, so using not just old-school, uh, old-fashioned pain medicine, but also anti-inflammatories and pain medicines that focus on cooling down those nerves. Um, as well as the, the actual surgery itself. So your microfascial incision, superfascial techniques in the thigh, meaning that we're not cutting through the layer covering the muscle, but just taking the skin and the fat that we need. Uh, all of these surgical techniques, if the goal is to reduce pain and reduce the time to recovery, it actually makes the surgery better because you're constraining yourself, saying how can I make this surgery as painless as possible, basically, without reducing, uh, without, uh, with minimizing weakness and, and so forth. And together, Joe and myself and hundreds of other surgeons around the country have been working tirelessly on these techniques to improve them, to achieve those goals of better patient outcomes, faster recovery, less pain, and more aesthetically pleasing results.